السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں پیس اینڈ بلیسنگز آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ بی اپان آل آف یو ٹوڈے آئی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ این آئی فرام دا ہولی قرآن فرام چیپٹر ٹو ورس نمبر ٹو ہنڈریڈ ایٹین اللہ سیز ان الدین آمن ولدین حاجر و جاہد فی سبیل اللہ اللہ کا یارجون رحمۃ اللہ اللہ غفر الرحیم I just want to give a more explanation about this ayah. The first part of this ayah means, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those people who believe in Allah. So that means a person has to believe on Allah, that Allah exists. Then we have to believe in his books that the Quran is the true word of Allah. So whatever Allah says, we have to follow it and we have to believe it. And let's go to the next part of this verse. Where Allah says, in the amanu. Then the next part, the Allah says in the first part of this ayah, that all those believers who believe whatever Allah says, we have to believe in that. Now in the next part of the ayah, Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ حَاجَرُوا وَجَهَدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Now Allah is talking about the people who has a great blessings and the special mercy for, of Allah. Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ حَاجَرُوا Those people who go leave their home in the path of Allah, who travel. And in the next part, Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ حَاجَرُوا وَجَهَدُوا Now in the next part, Allah says, those people who do jihad in the path of Allah. Now, the word jihad in this verse means that you do something for the sake of Allah. It simply means to strive to do something for the hard work for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the verse, Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ حَاجَرُوا وَجَاهَدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Those people who do jihad, those people who work hard in the path of Allah. So now, I'm going to divide this jihad fi subhanallah into two parts the one part there are one people who has given allah sources like a financial power and the second people are those people who has allah didn't give the financial power but allah gave them a physical power to go on outside of the home and deliver the message of allah but The purpose of this my message is for those people who has Allah given the financial power but they cannot distribute their time for the sake of Allah to go out and deliver the message. Now because Allah gave them a tawfiq of the financial and the other people Allah did not give the tawfiq of the financial but Allah gave them a tawfiq to leave their houses and go on the street to deliver the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now my this The message of my, the purpose of my message is that those people who have been given the tawfiq by Allah, who has a financial power to donate as much as you can for the sake of Allah. I was just walking down the street and I just met a few beggars just to get an idea like how much the financial power they have every day, how are these people surviving. They are homeless, they do not have a food, they do not have a clothing, but they're striving, basically just sleeping on the streets. So I interviewed a few people. So one of the person I asked them, how much do you make in approximately in, in one day? So one of them said like 25 or 30 dollars a day. Some of them, they said 40 dollars. Some of them said 60 dollars. And some of them was working whole day begging on standing on the streets, on the corners, and on the traffic signal. I asked them, how much do you make? They said, I make $20, $30, $40, $50 a day. And the minimum was more than $20. So now if I calculate and multiply it by in the whole month, that comes to about like approximately $500. Let's say for a beggar, he makes $400 to $500 a month. I'm talking about the beggar who does not have a life, no jobs, nothing. So basically they are just surviving, stay on the street. They're sleeping on the street and even they can surviving, they are getting $500. 
Now my message is to for those Muslims who claim that we love Allah and we love the Prophet. But there is a way to prove it by the words or by their actions. So now let's say Allah gave you financial power. So this is my request to all my brothers and sisters. It is not how much you pay in the path of Allah. It is what it counts, it's what is your sincerity, what it counts. Even you donate one dollar a month, or you donate five dollars a month, you donate ten dollars a month, you donate twenty dollars a month, whatever you count, Allah writes in your rewards and it is multiplied by. If you really believe in the path of Allah, if you really believe in the word of Allah, because the first part of this verse, Allah says, in the Ladina Amanu. So those people who does believe every word of Allah is true. Now, if you look at the Quran, Allah says, whoever spends their wealth in the path of Allah, it is going to be multiplied. So now, if we believe on these words, that Allah did promise that if you spend in the path of Allah, it is going to be multiplied, either in this world or in the hereafter. So those brothers and sisters listening to this message or watching this message, I request them one dollar, five dollars or ten dollars, whatever you can to donate as much as you can according to your limit. There is no restrictions. It is all about your sincerity how much you donate. It is not how much you donate, it is all counts what's in your heart and you want to do for the sake of Allah. And what we do with this money actually? Are we looking to get this money to run our channel? We are not asking you to donate us because we need the money to run our channel. This is, this is the only world's best channel has been launched there is no other channels like that because we provide children programs, live events, talk shows, street shows and multi-variety programs for children, for women, for every Muslim, not a particular section of Islam. This is the only channel in the multi-variety and the multi-languages. This is the first time being launched all across America and in the world catering 1.6 billion Muslims. Now the reason we ask you to donate us because this is a non-commercial channel. Like let's say we want to keep this channel pure. If you are ready to accept advertisements from the companies, we do not would really like to mix up with other things except the word of Allah and the pure things that we can cater Muslims. The reason we ask you donations because we put this all donations investment into the Dawa work. Our organization Islamic Research Foundation of New York is the only active organization in New York active in Dawa with the non-Muslims. We invest all these funds into the Dawa work. So let's say how many I have not seen any brothers or sisters who are striving to go on the street to talk to the non-Muslims and deliver the message of Islam. So you have to help with the financial power as much as you can. As we can see, I just give an example about the beggar who is making like $400, $500 a month. So as a Muslim, so we have to think if, if Allah did not give you the tawfiq to go outside on the street, so Allah gave you the tawfiq of a financial that you at least you can invest in the path of Allah that becomes a jihad also because this, you, this is the way you're striving to do something for the sake of Allah and the Prophet. So if you cannot help us to defend Islam, all the enemies of Islam is destroying Islam through the media, through the internet, on the streets, showing the wrong face of Islam. So who will be the one who is going to defend Islam if you will not support us? So this is the only organization we are working very hard to defend Islam. We deliver thousands of thousands of Qurans to non-Muslim, teaching them what Islam really teach. So if we are working hard, so it is your responsibility to at least donate as much as you can to support us. One dollar, do not think you, you're putting a one dollar a month or anything. Just think you are investing and this is your jihad as investing and spending in the path of Allah. Now look at the example of the beggar 
who makes like four or five hundred dollars a month. But as a Muslim, who has a more right to spend in the path of Allah? If you all will not support us, who will support us to do that? We haven't seen any much brothers and sisters working in New York or everywhere defending Islam. If we just go to the internet, all our enemies of Islam are destroying Islam, putting the corrupt materials, taking a clips from here, from there, and putting together and showing a wrong face, negative face of the Muslims. So we as a Muslims, Allah gave us a tawfiq to work hard for the sake of Allah. But it is your responsibility to spend as much as you can because your investment is your sadaqah jariya. Now there is a two intentions to make a donation. The first intention, you are doing it for the Allah, for the sake of Allah and for the sake of the Prophet and Islam. And to make this yourself a sadaqah jariya, which is going to stay alive as long as you keep paying. It is getting all this investment into the work of Dawah. So let's say you spend some money and we buy the Qur'ans and we deliver to the non-Muslims. So let's say because of your investment, somebody says Shahada. So you get the part of the reward to you. And the second intention, like if you have someone who passed away, you would like to invest in somewhere that someone who passed away, let's say your father, your mother, your grandfather, your grandmother, whoever, you can invest for them in the sake of Allah, making an intention, making a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, make this sadaqa jariya for the one who passed away. So what's going to happen when you invest your money in the path of Allah? The reward continues, it's keep going to them as long as you keep paying, keep paying. As all we know, the Prophet sallallahu said in the Sahih Hadith, when a Muslim passed away, his three things stays alive. One of the thing is when Muslims passed away, his children makes a continuous dua and the reward goes to who is died. And the second thing, you build something for the sake of someone who passed away, like a tube well, you set up like a water motor for someone who's getting a water out of that, you build up a school, masjid, you set up some education system that people, the poor people are getting a re taking advantage of that and the benefit and the reward goes to the one who passed away. And the third thing is you put the investment into the knowledge and uh, that knowledge whoever reads it because of that the person who passed away they get the reward because you put the investment in there. So the TV channel is something which is like a number two and then number three. So why it is number two and number three? Because because of your help, because of your support. People who are watching a TV, they are learning about Islam, a pure teachings of the Prophet They are learning because each of your donation, each of your support. So because if you start, stop supporting us, so we will not be able to support, we will not be able to do something. So that means every Muslim is, is a responsibility to every Muslim that even you donate a little or more, but do it for the sake of Allah and for the sake of Prophet. And look at the examples of the beggar who makes four or five hundred dollars a month. And as a Muslim, we are working hard, we are striving for the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to spread the deen of Allah, the pure teachings of Quran. The people who come to me, I have seen many examples, many people come to me and start fighting about jihad, they start fighting about discriminating anything. But when they start learning about the true Islam, then they get shocked because the media and the internet has corrupted all Islam and showing the wrong face to the people. So as a Muslim, we ask you to help us, even donating a one dollar a month or five dollar, whatever your capacity is. We do not ask you to give us a thousand dollars. There is a sahih this where the Prophet Wasallam said, Allah likes, Allah does not like that you do something very big at one time and you sleep. But you do something a little, but you do in continuous. Be constant on that. Even you donate one dollar, but do it continued. You donate five dollars for the sake of Allah. Do it continue. But keep doing it and make an intention and make a niya. Oh Allah, make this donation. I'm investing in the dawah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the, in the dawah project, 
and send this reward to the one who passed away. So they get the reward. So let's say on the day of judgment, the person who is a sinner, because of your donation, somebody's sins is wiped out in his grave. And on the day of judgment, when he will be presented to Allah, there will be no sins left. And he won't know why he why he is a sinless and why he doesn't have any sins. So Allah will explain him because when he passed away, people invested for you in the dunya and many people took an advantage of because of the, so you have no sins. They will be granted Jannah because of your investment in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hope you will understand, hope you will donate us as much as you can, even a one dollar a month is nothing. Let's compare ourselves. Allah gave us the money, houses, everything. And look at the person on the street who is just begging on the signals on the streets and they're collecting $20, $30, $50 a month a day. But if you, comp if you multiply this to the whole month, that comes like four, dollars $500. I'm talking about the beggar on the street who is homeless, who does not have anything. They sleep on the street. But still, they are making four, five $500 a month. So... As a Muslim, it is obligated to every Muslim to support us in this project. May Allah give the reward and the blessings to all those who passed away and make an intention right now. Go to www.ahad.tv ahad.tv and donate it right now. Now let's go back to my original topic which was from Surah Baqarah verse number 218 where Allah says in the amanu wa so now now we understand what this verse means Allah says those people who really believe in the book of Allah and every word of Allah is no doubt is a truth and then Allah says so now we understand those people who travel who go outside to deliver the message of Allah. And then the second thing where Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ حَاجَرُوا وَجَهَدُوا Now when we Allah says jihad, so Allah means those people who like to do something for the sake of Allah, according to their limitation. So if someone does not have a financial power, they can strive by putting their funds, by donating for those people who are working for the sake of Allah and they are distributing the word of Allah. So now those people who are striving for the path of, in the path of Allah, they do not have a financial power. So they need your support. So either you support them, either whatever you can according to your limitation, your reward is up to Allah. You will get the reward in this world and the hereafter. If you truly believe in the path, if you truly believe in every word of Allah, then you must believe that your investment is not wasted because of your funding, because of your support, because of your donation, our system is running. Because of your support, people are saying shahada. Because of your support, people are getting to learn about Islam. Because of your support, thousands of people we are able to approach and teach them what really Islam teach about. Now this is really a sign for those people and it's a glad tidings actually where Allah says Allah. So Allah gives a clear answer for, to those people who strive, who travel, who work hard for the sake of Allah and then Allah says, Yarjuna Rahmatullah. Now these are the people to expect the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the people who can expect the mercy of Allah, that they're going to be blessed, they are going to be forgiven on the day of judgment, who really wants to do something for the sake of Allah, either by funding or by doing themselves to go on the street and deliver the message of Allah. It counts as the same as a jihad. You do anything for the sake of Allah, it's considered as a jihad. You're working hard, you want to do something for the sake of Allah. So these are the people who are expected to receive the blessing of Allah who strive. Strive by going yourself on the path of Allah on the street or by strive by putting a funds into the organization who wants to do something for the sake of Allah and you get the part of the reward. 
and then also you can make a niya that you're donating for someone who passed away. So this becomes a continued reward for them who is not alive. May Allah give, forgive all our sins. May Allah send his blessing to all the Muslim Ummah. And may Allah make this deen spread because of your support. Amin Ya Rabbal Alameen.